everybody, it's your girl Sophia and we are back today with another Sophia Saturday special and today we are doing confessionals. If you guys have not seen my other video, I've done this before where basically I drop down a little boop on Instagram and you guys are able to confess anything that's been holding weight on you in the last however long completely anonymously so just know that your secret is safe with me you guys and i am going to read them aloud but it's for entertainment purposes only and if it is one of your confessions and you want advice i will like hone in on what i think you should do or whatever but some of these are just straight up just saying things that i don't even know how the f to react to so whew, let's dive right into these confessions you guys I need some water before we start this video. Okay, so this first one, I might have to fight somebody about. But uh, this girl said, your husband is hot. Well, I don't know if it's a girl or guy, actually. But I agree with you, he is really hot, and that's a cute confession. Don't steal my man. Okay, <laughs> so the next one is, I'm in love with my fiance's cousin. This is a female talking about her fiance's cousin. So that would be really stressful. I would say probably don't get married <laughs> right now um, because yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to see this guy at like family functions, I'm guessing and stuff. And if you're like truly in love with him, I mean, and also maybe he really likes you and whatever, and maybe you need to put your relationship to the side or just have like a, a loyal, honest conversation with um, your fiance, you know, before the cousin, obviously, because your loyalty lies with your fiance. I'm guessing and I'm guessing you haven't acted on this yet otherwise you would have confessed it so whew, this is heavy like if you're in love with your man's or woman's family member that's a lot and that can cause a lot of damage so you got to be really careful and tread lightly but I definitely want to get married um, anytime soon until you start to figure out what's going on maybe you and your man are just fighting and you just saw his cousin and he's kind of hot but whatever I say um, just wait it out and definitely figure out your feelings and and what you're feeling before you get married because yeah you're gonna have to see that guy probably a lot the next one is is i want to do the dirty with my cousin i can't make this up you guys because they're literally right next to each other um i wanted to ask you guys is this like a thing like i get a lot of these and i'm not gonna continue to read them because there's multiple that say pretty much the same thing about their cousins uh yeah i definitely just think that I don't know. I think there's like a psychological reason behind that maybe or something, but um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Just, I mean, I don't think I should have to further explain, um, but I'm glad you got that off your chest and I'm glad you said you want to and you haven't because I mean, I just, I don't agree, but um, thank you for your confession. The next one is my friend's mom came on to me in Vegas about three months ago. Now she's pregnant. I gotta go okay so basically you're telling me that you hooked up with your friend's mom so she came on to you which yeah, debatable maybe you guys came on to each other no I'm just joking she probably did I've actually had this happen to one of my friends in high school so um yeah that's crazy is it your baby like we, I need you to respond to this video and let me know what is going on because that's insane. Um, you're definitely going to have to have a conversation with your friend if it is your child. And uh, I would probably talk to the mom and just be like, hey, hopefully she didn't put you in a position where you felt taken advantage of like coming on to her, um, you know, or her coming on to you. But I, I don't know. I just that's such a wow. I don't even know how to answer some of these, but I'm glad you got that off your chest. I'm sure you're freaking the F out right now. And I would be, too. So. Just hang out with your friend as much as you can right now for the next nine months <laughs> and then maybe ask, maybe just see what the baby looks like. I don't know. My ex-husband lives with me, but I'm secretly seeing and sleeping with someone else. Ooh. I never think an ex living with you is a good situation to be in even like no matter how cool you are because it's just not, I just never think it, it works for personally me. I've seen people that it does work for, but I just don't think it works really for anyone. But uh, yeah, you shouldn't really have to hide that I mean if it's your ex and truly your ex so I'm guessing maybe there's still some feelings there that you need to figure out before you you know end either relationship so uh I wouldn't be I wouldn't be like sneaking out and hiding around in your own house girl like if your ex lives with you uh he's gonna have to deal with you dating new people so 
Bye. I got with a woman at a house party and she didn't tell me that she was married. Her husband was at the party. I feel like this is probably common though, like at parties or like clubs or like whatever. Um, damn. I wonder, like, I don't know if you feel bad about it or what, but you shouldn't because obviously she didn't tell you and you would have no way of knowing. Um, but that's probably something that you hold deep inside. And, um, oh, that sucks. I don't know. I don't even know what to say to that one. The next one is, is a weird confession is that I love white painted toes. I think that's like a thing. Like, I think like most, I, I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you guys think? Is that like, that's not weird to me. Like, I think a lot of guys or girls like that. So whatever. And the next one is I borrowed my dad's car, even though I didn't have a permit to go to Burger King. <laughs> That is okay, as long as you made it home in one piece. I mean, it's not okay. I don't condone that be sneaky behavior. So, but you didn't get caught, so. <laughs> this is from a girl, so just to get some context. Um, she said, I slept with my ex-girlfriend's dad. That's like something you see in a certain kind of movie. <laughs> um, wow, uh, that's crazy I wonder like does she know that's nuts um I'm sure this probably happens all the time I like I mean the other guy said that he like messed around with his best friend's um mom so it's like the same situation but you were actually dating I don't I don't know I, I but I have heard this before so I'm glad you got that off your chest um I don't really have any advice for that like because I don't know the context but I'm guessing that since it's your ex-girlfriend maybe she found out maybe she didn't and um yeah, I mean, you live and you learn and you grow and hopefully you don't do that again. <laughs> Have you ever thought about having an open relationship? No friend of crazy and not, I don't know what that last part means, but have you ever thought about having an open relationship? No, I would literally lose my mind, um, my soul, everything. I am a jealous person. I don't care what person in the world tries to pretend like, you know, they cannot have jealous tendencies because everyone does. Um, yeah, I would never, just I couldn't do it there was a time in my life where I, th I thought that like monogamy wasn't like possible but I definitely obviously am married and I would never I just could not I don't think I could share I think I'd have to be into like both people like so much that I just didn't you know what I mean like I but I just don't see like those situations ending greatly in like a lot of cases but I just can't like I would literally pull every strand of my hair out so no I got cheated on by my ex with the girl I was told not to worry about, so I slept with his cousin. Girl, go ahead. I fully believe, and I think someone said something, something similar in my last confessional video, I fully believe in the art of, what's the word I'm looking for? In the art of, what's the word I'm looking for? Retaliation. Um, and that's probably really immature of me, but sometimes that's the only way that you can get over someone or whatever. So I, you know what, <laughs> hats off to you. Probably you might feel like crap about it now. Um, so I'm sorry if you do, but you know what, whatever. I wouldn't even feel bad about that personally. I've been with my spouse for 13 years, but recently cheated. I feel horrible. Wow. That's a long time. Uh, I think that honesty is like the best policy because I truly believe that you literally cannot like continue a relationship with with that burden and like it always comes to light whether it's five years 10 years whatever down the road like it always comes to light so i would say that it's better coming from you than anyone else i mean you can deny till you die i guess but it's just that's just gonna weigh heavily on you and it sounds like it already is so i think honesty is like the best policy and if you want to continue your relationship um at this point it might not even really be up to you but it's best to be honest with that person and just tell them what happened and hopefully hope for the best and hope that they can forgive what happened and you know just be honest like if you're honestly sorry tell them you're honestly sorry and that it will never happen again and maybe talk about the issues that led up to that moment it might have just been like a random thing because that's a thing like you don't have to have issues to cheat but you know maybe you guys were going through something or whatever and you never know how people are going to respond I mean I'm sure it's going to be emotional but I hope that 
you get that off your chest because uh, that's a lot. That's heavy. This one says, I brought a girl over when my parents were sleeping. Okay, I cannot lie here, okay? I definitely have done this when I was younger, okay? And I think that it's something we all go through is the sneaking out. Can we all agree? And like, you know, sneaking in people. So don't feel um, too bad. Maybe if this is really like hurting you, you should tell your parents what you did. But if it's not, I would say, you know, it's just a phase that you go through when you're younger. Like I think almost everyone goes through that. Or maybe I was just a really bad kid because I was in and out of those windows. <laughs> Those are all my super juicy confessions for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I will be back tomorrow with whatever you guys want to see. So leave me a comment, DM me on Instagram. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I like doing these confessions and I hope that you guys can watch these if you left me a confession and you feel a little bit lighter and it's all out in the open, but you're still anonymous. So don't you worry. And I hope you guys got a little bit of relief from that um, as well as maybe some of you guys can relate to it. So. Let me know what your confession is in the comments if you're brave enough. And let me know which one of those confessions you think was actually mine. So I think I might have hidden one in there. Love you guys.